Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. How are you all doing? We're back in Pokemon Platinum, randomized permadeath. So, for anyone that is not aware, and this is the first time checking out the channel and or the series, here are the rules. One, just like Nuzlocke, uh, we're using permadeath. If a Pokemon dies, then they are permanently dead. Well, fits. They are permanently dead. They go into the graveyard box in, well, the box. But with a bit of an optional rule, which I've never actually seen. I'd have thought this would be more popular, but I've never seen this. Uh, maybe I'm just a hermit and haven't seen it, but whenever we earn a gym badge, we are allowed to bring one Pokemon back out of the grave. With there being eight badges, that's potentially eight Pokemon that we can revive. Second rule, all of the Pokemon are randomized. All of the wild Pokemon, all of the trainers Pokemon, including the trainers names, which gets a bit weird occasionally. I probably shouldn't have done that. Oh my God, a muck. Um, it's running amok. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, I'll stop now. Uh, but yeah, everything's randomized. The items are randomized as well. The moves on Pokemon are randomized to an extent, as you can see from my Haunter here. Um, no TMs are involved here. It's When I caught the Haunter, it started with the first three moves and got Shadow Force by leveling up, um, which we will use. Actually, can we catch this muck, I wonder? Do I even have the Pokeballs? I don't know. I was going to buy some, but I don't know if I did it at the end of the last episode or not. Um, but yeah, that's it for the rules. Oh, we just killed it instantly. Fair enough. Now, one thing I've been wondering about sort of Nuzlocke challenges is they can get easy, like even with the permadeath rule, if you're just willing to grind. I mean, I can stand on the very edge of this grass thing and after the edge of uh, the edge, after the end of every fight. Oh, actually, hold on. I need to pay attention to this. I wasn't. Um, make it forget another move. What move? Was it Nightmare? What does that do? Sleeping Foe is shown a Nightmare. Well, it... This Haunter can't inflict sleep. So... It's kind of useless to us? Yeah. I mean, if we had Hypnosis, that would be grand. But I think a, a move trainer uh, uh, should be able to teach us that again if we ever need it. But anyway, yeah, I could just run backwards and forwards on the edge of here. And after the end of the fight, like, um, heal up. So it kind of reduces the difficulty. So I wonder why they don't have a sort of speed run element to Nuzlocke. Like you can only spend so long in an area or you can only level up so much in an area. I don't know. Um, right, now he says he's got a Krikatot and a Zubat. Does he actually have a Krikatot and a Zubat? Cop Pansy. So yeah, the names are randomized and the titles. But apparently this kid's name is Pansy and they're a cop. We've seen a lot of undercover kid cops. I wonder what the police force in this town is doing. Uh, but yeah, we'll just go right back into Shadow Force. So we're going to try and make our way to the first gym. Uh, I need to get some badges. If only to like, hold them in the inventory. Well, you don't really have them in the inventory. But you need to just hold on to them in case I need to revive a Pokemon. That's the plan. So we'll see if we can actually do that. Um, I also want to level as well. Swallow. Um, actually, let's switch out a Pokemon for leveling purposes to the Laron, I guess. I do need to level up these Pokemon. I need to rotate them. I do like the Haunter, though. Um, this evolution of Pokemon, uh, Ghastly, Haunter, Gengar, some of my favorite Pokemon. Swallow, all right. Um, actually, this is Ground Steel. I might be able to gonna be able to do much? Steel wing? Actually, I should use rock. Rock is good against bird types. Fuck me. Alright, fair enough. Okay. Judgment. Jesus, what the hell is... Oh, thank fuck. Alright, so yeah. Um, the moves have been randomized to a certain degree. Um, fire types moves will go on to fire type Pokemon, etc. You won't see like a grass type with a fire type move, unless I think they're already supposed to. Um, so yeah. So our Haunter has a move that they don't normally have, but it is a ghost type. So, you get, so it's semi-randomized. So yeah, we beat this cop called Pansy. Got 96. Um, what's the currency called? Right, let's check our inventory quickly. Um, I need to see if I have Pokeballs, because I'm going to want to catch... Oh good, I have three. Um, do I have the money to get more? I'm going to quickly pop into town and try and grab some more if I can. So I was able to get one Pokeball. Uh, so we're going to make our way through. Uh, just actually, hold on. Oh, fuck. I keep pressing the wrong button to get into the menu. Every 
bloody time I do that. So, switch out the Pokemon for the lowest level. Um, so we have three to choose from. We'll go with the Tropius. Um, and I like arranging them by level. Fuck, I've, I've screwed that up. It isn't strictly necessary, but I'm not OCD, but I definitely get a similar impulse to do this. Um, yeah, right, we got a trainer. Let's just challenge them directly. Let's get the drop on them. We challenge them. He's never apart from his shanks. I bet this time he is. I bet this time he is. Let's see what he's got. Chop Cop Florentino. That's a fancy name. A Mareep. Ah. Okay. Tropius. Oh, it's grass flying. Um, that's not going to be good against electric. So. Um. Kangas Khan? That's normal type, so it should be okay. Yeah, yeah, we'll go with the Kangas Khan. So let's see what happens. Um, I'm not sure if I regret catching the Kangas Khan. It was a ball egg to get. I think it took, from memory, from like eight Pokeballs to try and do it. When the hell did you learn that? That must have happened while I wasn't looking. Not paying attention. Ooh, wow. That did really... Ooh. It's a shame it's not wild. Otherwise, we could have caught that. But never mind. Ooh, it's paralyzed. Maybe unable to move. Maybe. We don't know. Let's find out. Come on, Kangaskhan. What's the little kid in its pouch doing while this is happening? Just kind of sitting there going, meh, 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 meh. <laughs> you know. All right, so yeah, um, I'm gonna go back and heal at the Pokemon Center. So I'm surprised, like, a Nuzlocke is meant to be intentionally difficult. So they set the rules in place to make it difficult, but like, that's the the no healing or limited healing or limited time in an area is not something that's enforced. So you'd think to make it more difficult, they'd say, oh, you can only use the Pokemon Center so many times, or you can only level in an area so many times. But that's not mentioned in the rules at all. And I looked up the Nuzlocke rules. It's not even in the optional rules as far as I can see or remember. So yeah, I'm surprised. Like, it's an obvious loophole. I could just sit and grind. It would be a, it would be a ball ache. Um, and it was. I've done it a little bit. Um, and I just hung around on the edge of the grass. And then when things got dicey, went back to the Pokemon Center. All without having to save and reload. It's, it's kind of easy. Um, so I'm surprised a rule to curb that is not stipulated. Alright, so. Don't need to switch anything out yet. Let's move on. Ha! We surprise you! You'll test your strength on me, will you? Well, that's pretty much what I'm doing. So yeah, I'm going to try and run through this. I did a lot of editing last time because I recorded like an hour's worth of footage and I had to like get it down to half an hour. But I want to try and... Ooh, fucking hell. So yeah, I'm going to try this time to just do it a bit more straight through with less editing. We'll see. Um, it also means I have less work to do in the edits. Um, right, Latios. What the hell does a Latios do? What's his type? Um, NG Ball takes two turns. Uh, bounce. Bounce will take us off the field for a turn, which puts us a Digi less. There we go. Up you go. Wait, Sandstorm. Did I summon that Sandstorm or did the Latios? Well, if the Latios did it, then it was a pretty stupid thing to do. Oh, oh, yeah, okay, actually, yes, yes. It, it makes sense that we were caught by it this time, because we were just in the sky. But the fucking Haunter, when it's in a Shadow Force, that could be buffeted by the Sandstorm. Even though it's in some kind of ghostly other dimension. I don't get it. But fine. Ooh. Um. Fuck it, we'll just do the same thing again. Up we go. Oh, actually, ooh, hello. I should have swapped out the Pokemon, maybe. Now nah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We need to, to grind a bit more, because the level difference is getting smaller between me and my foes. Uh, so maybe if I do do some grinding, I might edit that out, just because it would be boring. Um, 
I'll take a better. We'll see. In the meantime, Latios is down. Is the Latios legendary? Like, I, I've... The, the, like, the generation ones, up to 151, I know, back to front. I had Pokemon Red when I was a kid, uh, I know those. I mean, as, as they've added more, like, I lose touch. Like, I've played the, uh, the games, well, to an extent. After Pokemon Red, I think the next one I played was Diamond. Um, we were a poor family, so I never really got the chance to do the other ones. Until I was able to, like, get Diamond myself as an adult. Um, actually, yeah, we'll just switch out Pokemon. Okay, here we go. Uh, hello! I really hope not going to the Pokemon Center wasn't a mistake. I've forgotten what I was saying. Bollocks to it. Let's carry on. Four Pokemon, fuck! Ranger Tristan, Tristian, you are packing. Right, what have you got? A Volt Beat. So, uh, Bug Type and Lightning Type, I would guess, just based on the uh, name? Fuck. Exorcer? Or Attack Order? How do Bug Type w moves work against other Bug Types? I don't actually know that. What the fuck does Weather Ball do? Um. Well, at least. Uh, her Pokemon are level 4, so the level difference should carry us through. Clearly it did. Okay. Good, good. We're fine. Okay, Graveler. Yeah, let's switch. What's good against a Graveler? I think that's just pure rock type. And that's steel and rock. Um... I do really like the Honda. Yeah, the Honda. I don't think Rock has any benefit against Ghost types, but our Ghost type moves should still be powerful enough to get past any Rock benefit. Fingers crossed. And it's only level 4. Alright. Shadow Force! Into the ghostly dimension with you! Okay, Rock Polish. What does that do again? Oh yeah, I remembered what I was saying, but yeah, I've basically lost touch with a lot of Pokemon. I've got, um, Pokemon Sword, um, but I'll be buggered if I can remember any of them. You know? Like, the first 151, I'm solid on. But after that, it gets hazy. Like, even, like, the legendaries that people should know. Like, I don't really remember much about them. So, like, last time I saw a Dialga... Um, just from a fishing rod. Ooh, a Zap- They've got a Zapdos! Okay! Um, I'm just gonna go with the Monferno. Um, but yeah, um, saw a Mesprit, and I couldn't remember if that was a Legendary or not. And there was another one, another Legendary we saw, and I couldn't remember if that was a Legendary either. Alright, hello Zapdos! <laughs> this is fucking weird! Fire Punch! Alright. I think I'm going to take to imagining that all of these other trainers are other, like, Pokemon players like me. So they've all got, like, the interesting Pokemon too when they've come to this area. <laughs> Clefairy. Um, let's just keep the Monferno out and just punch it. Punch it in the face with fire. Hello, Clefairy. The little noise was kind of like a, hello! <laughs> um, fire punch. Faint. We're not like falling over faint, like a pretendy thing faint. But it made no difference. Down you go. Actually, yeah, I think I'm gonna do a bit of editing and skip past a bit because we're like 14 minutes in and we've only got a few feet up the road. So I think for the sake of being interesting, I may have to edit a bit. So let's skip ahead a wee while. Well, we've got another trader a challenge. Um, so where are we? Oroburg City is through that tunnel. And I don't think it's that far. But, there are two things I want to do in this area. One, deal with this trainer. And two, get the item that's just down there. Oh, shit. I wanted to get the drop on her. Alright, fine. It's a good thing, like, there's no advantage to being the one to start the fight. That's, it, it, that's a small mercy. Okay, who are we dealing with? Ranger Pansy. Fair enough. Sableye. Looks interesting. 
but we got the level difference. Uh, so let's do a high jump kick, I suppose. Oh, um, it doesn't affect them. Huh? What the fuck is a sable eye? Is it a ghost type? All right, we'll know it if it's a ghost type if Slash does nothing. It doesn't. Right, it's a ghost type. Um. Okay. Well, since we've fallen for the taunt, I think we should just get out our own ghost type. Actually, wait, do ghost type moves affect other ghost types? I've just realized that I don't know. Um. Shit. I should really, like, consult a type chart again. I know, like, the basics. Let's try Gunk Shot. We haven't used that in a while. Oh, it seems to do something at least. So that's good. Ah. Oh. Dark Pulse. Interesting. Whoa! Oh, super effective. Right, we're getting you out. Before anything bad happens, because I'm not losing this Haunter. I do want, do not want to lose this Haunter. Oh yeah, while I'm on, apologies if you can hear the clicking from the controller I'm using. I mean, God, if I, I noticed it in the edits for the last two. If I thought trying to get rid of the keyboard and mouse clicks was bad, this fucking controller is loud as fuck. Um, I don't know how to deal with it. Um... <laughs> So yeah, all I can do is, ap is apologise. Um, if it really does bother you, let me know in the comments. Like, the clicking of the controller. And I'll see what I can do. Um, but god, it, it adds so much more to the edit. Pulling all of the clicks down individually. Oh my giddy fucking hand. It is so <laughs> much of a ball ache. I'll put in the effort if there's a huge demand for it. But if everybody's okay with it. Just leaving the clicks in. That would make me so happy, because it, oh, it means I can actually edit these in a reasonable amount of time. Alright. Item, item, item. What do we got? An antidote. Well, that might be useful. Alright, how are my Pokemon doing? Um, what I'm going to do is just use a potion on the Haunter. Rather than going back to the Pokemon Center. Because it's just one of them. Okay. Let's get into the cave. Whoop. Ah, right, yeah, I'll just skip past any wild battles here. We'll go into the cave directly. Okay, cave time! Um, now even though I played Diamond on the DS, I do not remember the layout of this place. Um... Oh! Um... Hello? Let me make a gift this hidden... Oh! I got a HM, what does that do? Rock Smash! Alright, so I could... In theory, go back to that tunnel up in the north of that city we're in. I've forgotten the name. Uh, but the trainer has to have the gym bag from... Alright, okay, fair enough. We don't have the the badge. What kind of vetting procedure is the Pokemon using? They like, oh, no, 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 you don't have the badge! No! Ratata! Fuck this, I'm not even going to dignify this with including it in the video. Fuck off, Ratata. We trainers will accept challenges anywhere, it's what we do. Yes, yes you do. So how are we going to make... Uh, how are we going to do with this one? You are challenged by Danceteer! Alright then. Sloking! Interesting. Um, That's Psychic Water. I kind of wish I had Electric types on me, but I don't. So how are we going to do this? Um, Grass does good against water. So we'll go with the Tropius? I think? Yeah. Although, it's only grass move takes two turns, I believe. Ha! You fool! You're f merely feeding my plant thing! Ha 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 Yeah, I, I won. Although, flying moves do good against water types anyway, so we're good. We picked the perfect Pokemon out of our team to do this. And... Bounce, we'll keep it out of the way. So yeah, we're going to win this one handily. We're on 20 minutes and we barely got into the cave. So let's just move past this, eh? Oh, they had more than one Pokemon. I forgot. Metagross. What the fuck is a Metagross? Seriously, guys, what the fuck is a Metagross? <laughs> I don't know. Let's find out. 
Right. Rock type? Alright, well... Oh, shit. Um, what's good against rock? Well, I know water is. Maybe ground types? Uh... Although, I think that might be rock steel? Alright, if it's... I mean, because it's, it's, it's shiny. It looks rocky, but it's also shiny too. So that kind of suggests metal. So we'll go with fire. And if nothing else, the level difference should carry us through, even if we don't have the type advantage. But I mean, yeah, like, I've just been thinking. I've thought this more than once. We're at 20 minutes in. And I... What the fuck? Okay, that's not offensive. Good. Um... I mean, I could just do longer videos, like an hour. But the thing is, nobody watches them unless they're stream vods. If you call it a three-hour video a stream vod, people will watch it. Don't call it a stream vod, and they won't. And the only fucking difference is the name. That's the only difference. That makes no sense. So maybe I should just do hour-long videos and just trick people by calling them stream vods. You know? Most people wouldn't know the difference anyway. But it's, it's, it's crazy. Call it a stream VOD and people will sit for hours. Don't call it a stream VOD and they won't. It makes no fucking sense. Oh, we're almost out of the tunnel. Cool. Right, let's see how this battle goes. Uh, right. You are challenged by Scribe Marcellus. A Flaffy. Uh... I think this should be fairly straightforward. I mean, it's normal type, isn't it? Maybe? Let's see. Ooh. It isn't. Uh, if it was normal type, that would have been super effective. What the fuck is a Flaffy do? Seriously, not a clue. We'll just use Slash to conserve our PP. I hesitated on the pronunciation there, because I... I, I new, like, infantile thoughts would immediately enter. Mine and your minds! But we beat the scribe. And we got money! Um, now I've been spending my money on Pokeballs, but with the level difference, it's going to be tricky to catch anything? Unless I really commit to using the po- You're not going to fight me, are you? Howdy, trainer. You don't have a single gym badge. No, we're working on it, though. You better- d Oh, good! Take me to the gym! And there's the gym! Good! There's someone there. Carlos. Oh, no, 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 no. Right, I'm going to this Pokemon Center because they'll probably want to challenge me. And I'm not ready for that. Not until we've healed. Where's the... Where is the... Ah, there it is. Good. Right. In we go. We'll heal up and then we'll go see Carlos. All right, let's fucking do this. I'm here for you, Carlos. Son of a bitch. Oh, it's you, Drew. You finally got here. You're slow like always. Fuck off. <laughs> Be grinding. All right. Um... Leader's tough. If the gym leader's this tough, I wonder how he compares to my dad. Is your dad again? Uh, it doesn't matter. So the gym leader's gone off to the mine. Yes, I vaguely remember this. We have to go into the mine. Alright, to the mine we go. Okay, luckily they didn't want to fight us. Uh, the thing is, um, even in Nuzlocke, like proper Nuzlocke, there's like rules on only catching the first Pokemon in the area, which I haven't done for this because the Pokemon are randomised. So to take full advantage of that, doing that wouldn't make any sense. You know, what would be the point of randomizing the Pokemon if you're only catching the first one in the area? Oh, did, oh fine, now I have to go under? Alright, fine. What do we get? A power belt? Okay, um, what does that do again? Makes certain moves stronger? Fighting type moves, I think? Maybe... Items. Promotes defense gain on leveling, but reduces the speed stat. Okay, I think we'll just sell that. Maybe. Um, okay, okay, okay. What's in the mine? Let's find out. Oh! Oh, can we catch this? Please, can we catch this? Um, actually, oh, I need, like, Cerebi to tell me what the catch rates are for things. Um, so I think this is dragon flying type, or is it just purely dragon type? Alright, we'll just go with high jump kick. And even if we do beat it... Oh, good! Not very effective. That means we might be able to... Okay. Um... Right, I don't think flying moves have a type advantage, I guess, against 
grass types or are the flying types? I think. Um, but they definitely don't against steel types. And I think that's rock steel. So I think we should be okay if we switch that out. We'll see. But yeah, I really want to try and crack, catch this Dragonite. And if not, we'll just keep going for the random battles. I don't know why they insist on calling it battles. This isn't a battle. A battle is lots of people over a prolonged period. This is like a few minutes long and it's one on one. There's scraps of anything. Street fights. Alright. Um, let's try a rock throw. No. Oh, fine. Off you go. Laron is paralyzed. You don't have to move that much to throw a rock. Um, and I don't want to fix it. So what do we do? We just... Sandstorm. How about that? I mean, Sandstorm, it'll chip away at its health. My Pokemon will be fine. Oh, yeah, because it's ground steel, not rock steel. So actually, yeah, if we just hang around, we could just wait for its health to go down. And... Yeah, in fact, what I can do is get the Haunter out to poison it too. Um, get poison on the go and then switch back to Valeron. We should be able to catch this thing. Um, but I might skip ahead a bit because we're on, according to my wee timer, which I used to time how long this will take, um, I'm on 27 minutes. So, like, that's borderline the end of an episode. So let's skip ahead a bit. Well, things are going well. Bounce really took a lot of health off the Haunter. Um, so the question is, am I going to risk trying Poison Powder? I think I have to. And the only thing it seems to know is Bounce, and that takes two turns, so I think we should be okay. We're getting into dodgy territory. Oh, don't kill it, don't kill it, don't kill it, don't kill it. Oh, thank you. Oh, no, the Sandstorm. Oh... Ooh. Okay, back to the lair on. You did a wonderful job, Haunter. Well done, lad. Well done. But it's time to go back to the safety of your Pokeball. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. So we're ground steel right now. So let's... Uh... Oh, the sand stop subsided. But it's alright. We can just do that again. Remove field. Come on, I want to catch this Dragonite. So we got Poison on the go and a Sandstorm. In fact, that might do too much damage too quickly. This might be a bad idea. Maybe. Maybe we should have been a bit more gentle. Hmm. Um, shit. Alright, we'll use Sandstorm again, because we, we don't actually want to do anything. Normally I'd switch out a Pokemon, but I want to make sure everything's cool. So, I'm just going to leave Laron out, but have it do a move that I know won't work. Okay. Right, we can't do anything. Oh, shit. It's going to die next turn. Fuck. Yeah, it's going to die next turn. This has been a complete waste of time. Bollocks to it. Fuck. I might have to come back again and try this. With... Oh. <gasps> yep, it's going down. Bollocks. Right. Mental note, only do one at a time. Poison or Sandstorm. Don't try and do both. <sighs> right, back to the Pokemon Center to heal up. Okay, so I'm going to let this episode run a little bit longer. Or we'll maybe say 40 minutes? Bollocks to it. I'm doing it. Alright. What the? Jesus Electra Buzz. Ele Electra Buzz, rather. Okay, fine. We're going to get as far as speaking to this first gym leader and unlocking the gym. We're not, we're not going to have enough time to do the actual gym battle. Um... But yeah, uh, since we're after an electric type, we'll try and catch this one. 
We'll see what happens. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to get as far as speaking to the gym leader to unlock it for next episode. We'll try and catch whatever we can along the way. Wait, that just tried to use Toxic. Alright. Uh, but yeah, I will try and catch the stuff in here between sessions. That's what I'm going to do. We'll see how that goes. Um, I won't bore you with the details. Because otherwise this will get too long. Um, I am thinking of moving to streaming. In fact, not just thinking of it. I will be. It's just a question of when. So, this series might be something I do on stream. Probably will be, actually. We'll see. Uh, but, in the meantime, we'll make do with the series stuff. I actually do prefer doing edited content. Streaming stresses me out. But I have to do what I have to do to ensure the survival of the channel. So, streaming it is. So this will probably be one of the things I do on stream. Now the question is, do I continue this playthrough or start a brand new one for the stream? That I don't know. Let me know in the comments what your opinions are on that. Ooh, Zap Cannon did a quite a bit of damage. Um, I think it's time to stop swapping in Pokemon. Uh, but what? Lightning does damage against flying and steel. We'll just bank on the level difference and have the Monferno do nothing. Actually, no, there is no do nothing command. Why isn't there a do nothing command? <laughs> Bollocks to it. I just have to swap out two Pokemon. Ooh, this tri attack could be dangerous. Fire, water, and grass? What was it? Okay. They didn't do that much damage. Fair enough. Uh, so yeah, we'll just keep on swapping our two particular Pokemon in now. Kangaskhan and Monferno. Oh, the Wild Electabuzz just used Toxic. Badly poisoned? What the hell does that mean? Like, does it do more poison damage? I, I don't actually know. Uh, but we'll just swap out the Monferno. We'll just swap it out and see what happens. Come on. Just a little bit... Yeah, literally, just a little bit more. Hang on there, Monferno. Hopefully we can catch this thing. Because it would be nice to have an electric type for the water gym that will eventually be coming up. <sighs> right. One more bit of poison. And we've got this. Yeah, one more bit of poison and we got this. I fucking hope. Otherwise, I'm just going to come back and catch these between sessions. Because... <laughs> yeah, this could take up a lot of time. I mean, it has. <gasps> right. Come on, Pokeball. We've got four of these buggers. I could buy more, I think, with the money I've made from trainer fights. Come on, Electabuzz. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You motherfucker. Fuck! Um, please don't hurt me too much. Is this going to turn out to be a complete waste of time? I don't know. Ah, oh, yeah, fuck. Fuck me. That's a Pokeball down the drain. Why do we lose the Pokeballs? I mean, it's just sitting on the ground. Why can't we pick them back up? I do not understand that. Oh, I found a Pichu in this mine. Oh, I want it. <laughs> All right, we're going to try and catch this. Yeah, we're not going to speak to the gym leader. Yeah, the last bit of the episode is going to be dedicated to this. We are catching that Pichu. I want the Pichu. We're having it. Well, the attack missed. All right, fine. Thundershock. Ooh, it's got some decent moves on it already. And we've been paralyzed. It doesn't matter. I mean, I don't know how much movement is involved with making poison powder. Oh my god, it has Hyper Beam! We are having this Pichu! I mean, it's just a little baby! How bad could the catch rate possibly be on it? I will use up all my Pokeballs on this. Okay. Okay, how do we not instantly wreck it? I mean, we could just... Yeah, Poison Gas won't do anything. It has lots of PP that we can blow on it. And Hyper Beam doesn't do anything against Haunter. Yes! And we can just keep doing Poison Gas because it won't do anything. That's a turn waster. It's just as good as doing nothing. So yeah. 
Come on, let us catch the... Oh, actually, yeah, we need to be careful of Thundershock. Luckily, it doesn't seem to be doing that much damage. Um, so hopefully we'll be okay. Thunderfang. Ooh. Do we have potions left? Um, right, our potion does heals 20. So once its health is down to 16, that's when it's really worth it. And we have two potions. Okay, we're fine. In theory. I oh man, if this Pichu kills this Honda, that would be so embarrassing. I'll still catch it though. That's fine. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Um, I wasn't paying attention to how much damage that actually did. But I think we have one more attack that we can take before we really need to heal. Okay, 17 to 13, so that's four damage. All right, we'll use a restorative thingy. Use the potion. Hurrah. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Ha, Hyper Beam does nothing. Oh, I really want this Pichu. It's adorable and it has Hyper Beam. <laughs> Okay, Thunderfang. 33 to 26. That's... 9 damage? I can't do mental arithmetic, I'm dyspraxic. Um, hold on. I'll do it on my fingers. 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26. 7 damage! Right, okay. So its damage ranges seem to go between 4 and 7 currently. Yeah, that was 4 damage. Okay, health should be down to the red. It should have one more poison thingy in it. So we'll do one more turn of using poison gas. And then use a Pokeball. Haunter flinched. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, we have to get this. Oh, I'm going to run out of Pokeballs. Please, 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 please. Please, please. Yes! Fuck the gym leader. This is the high note we're going out on in this episode. Boom! Fuck yes! Welcome to the team, Pichu! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm happy now. Oh, this is so cute! Aww. Give a nickname. No. No, no, no. I I've never really done nicknames for Pokemon. I may have a few good ones at the beginning, but then I run out of ideas. Ha! Ah, right, we are stopping here. I'm going to go back to the Pokemon Center and deal with my Honda. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, general outro stuff now. Like and subscribe. There's a good reason people ask you to do that. It really does help, so please uh, do that. It really is helpful. I mean, I'd ask at the beginning of the episode. Um, one, it's tacky and cheesy. And two, like... The only people that would really like it are the people that actually stuck around, so it's kind of pointless to ask at the beginning. Um, so I tend not to do it. So if you've stuck around this long, please like the episode. It really does help. I mean, you hear talk about the algorithm and stuff, and it kind of sounds like some sort of digital witchcraft, but it really does help. Um, just take my word for it. Please do. In the meantime, uh, yeah, check out other ways to support and interact with the channel. Other playlists, some of which are linked in the description below. The rest are on the playlist tab on the channel proper. Yeah, check out the Discord, the TV Trumps page, and everything else that you might find in the description. But in the meantime, thank you very much for joining me, guys, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye now.